does the second professional goal compare to the first one? Yeah, it felt good. I think it was a different attitude this time just because, you know, coming off the Saturday result, we really wanted to make a statement today and come out strong. And I just felt like after I scored, we had more work to do right after that. So I didn't feel the need to celebrate as much, but it felt great. Yep. They threw a lot at you with the changes they made in the second half. And granted, they got the one goal back, but not letting them come any closer. You feel like this was a step forward tonight for the defense and what you all want to do? 100%. Yeah, I think it was a step forward. Felt good on the field. The communication felt a little bit better today. Actually, much better, to be honest with you. And I think we're covering each other more. We had a good balance. You know, things we, we talked and worked about, especially coming after the last game. And it was a good response, and it, and it felt, felt like it on the field. Do you think it, sorry, go ahead. How much did you feel like you had to respond after that last night? Yeah, I mean, the club is used to winning. We want to win, so we're not happy when we, we drop points. And coming here at Lynn Family Stadium, it's, you know, we shouldn't be dropping points here. And, you know, we just wanted to have a good response. And I think the first half really showed that. It was the right mentality. So, uh, you know, the boys are happy. This put you back in first place. I've heard a few references to how important maybe that is to the locker room. Has that been like a goal to win the regular season or what's kind of wrong with that? Yeah, it's, you know, it's it's a goal it's talked about, but it's it's expected. I think when you look around in that locker room, I, I feel so lucky. You can look to your left and right and you have guys that are filled with quality, you know, and, and everyone wants to win. We have each other's backs out there. So, of course, we want to win it all. We want to finish first in our league and the whole conference. Um, but it's really game by game, and that's what we really focus on. Wes, you guys talked about coming up with a better mentality this game. Mm -hmm. What initially early on like, showed you that you were a little more locked in, a little more focused to start this one as opposed to last game? I think it's communication. Um, you know, from the start, you can see guys were talking, covering each other, and, and solving problems. I think it's the biggest, biggest thing. You know, it's not always perfect. Things happen, and if you can communicate to your teammate, you know, maybe take two steps to your left or right or do this, you know. It goes, it goes a long way, and that kind of just builds momentum. And, and that's, that's what happened. So. Jogo had two assists tonight. I mean, he's been playing great all year. But specifically on the attack, it seems like he's really found a groove coming down the wing, and that corner was right to you in the box. Just how impressed are you with that? Oh, yeah, it's amazing. I mean, Jogo does things that are way beyond his years, you know, and I think it's impressive at just how much he, he grows with each week. You know, the kid's so talented. and. He, he works his butt off every game, and I thought today he was really good, even with his balance of timing to get forward. You know, co covering a little bit um, more in terms of staying connected with the back line. But the sky's the limit for Jogo. I mean, the ball he gave me today is all him. I just had to jump and head it in. But yeah, no, Jogo's great. Is it like for the team to see Josh get in the game? You guys play similar position. You probably wouldn't even play good. We're, we're so happy. You know, the Winder brothers, their families, it's a great family. You know. You know, everyone's smiling when Josh got in, and I was so happy for him. And, you know, I love Josh. He's a great player. He's got a bright future as well. Um, just couldn't be more happy for Josh and his family.